<laughs> well, this is a good intro. Okay. Okay, we are modeling mitosis, and the first stage of mitosis, I mean, well, actually, no, the stage before mitosis is called interphase, and that is 90% of, like, what the cell is in, and, um, so here is our little diagram of that. Um, these little, this string material here is the chromatin, and this is, um, what the DNA is in, um, this dark dot is the nucleoli and then we have um, two pairs of cotton balls here and these are the centrosomes and then the dark string is the nuclear envelope and um, this happens in three growth stages um, G1 is first growth that's just like regular um, metabolic activity and then there's the S phase, which is synthesis of DNA, where DNA actually replicates itself. And then G2, which is second growth, and um, that is when um, the cell continues to grow and when it replicates its organelles. And that is interphase for you. This is uh, part two, first stage of mitosis, and it's called prophase. And in prophase, the nuclear envelope that surrounds the chromatin, which now is turning into chromosomes, um, starts to disappear, and so does the nucleolus. And the chromatin, which condenses into chromosomes, is held together by centromeres, the little black part in the middle that hold the sister chromatins. So this is a one chromatin, and this is another chromatin, and together they're sister chromatins. And it holds them together. And then these centrosomes, these right here, make a copy so they duplicate themselves. So there's two of them. And from them, the, these long fibers that are called mitotic spindles start to pull apart and head towards opposite ends of the cell. And then, okay, so that was early prophase. And now in late prophase, um, you cannot see the nuclear envelope or nucleosa at all and the centrosomes are on either ends, so they are moved to right here on either ends of the cell. And the chromosome is in a butterfly shape, so it's more like this shape right here, and attaches to the spindles on either end. So they start to align at the kinetic cord. And that's the it. Prophase. Metaphase, part three. Meta meaning middle. The centrosome, now on opposite sides of the cell and the mitotic spindle, come from the centrosomes and attach to the centromere of the chromosome. <laughs> spindle fibers tug on the chromosomes until they are aligned along the middle of the cell. The metaphase plate. Alright, this is part four, anaphase. And in this, the cell is more oval shaped because of how the um, chromosomes are being pulled. So the first part is the spindle that are attached to the central mirrors. They shorten and so they pull the chromosomes apart. And each part of the chromosome is now a daughter chromosome, chromatid. So these are, these are both daughter chromatids. And so they're, they're pulled apart by the mitotic spindle to either side. And then so now the daughter chromatids are on opposite ends of the cell by being pulled by the mitotic spindle. <laughs> is telophase. And um, this is the um, next to last final phase of mitosis. And um, as you can see here, the nucleoli has reappeared. Um, the chromosomes, um, you know, are split from um, anaphase, and they begin to turn into chromatin again. So, you know, they form back into the string-like material. Um, the centrosomes, um, you know, are split, and the mitotic spindle has retracted, um, and then comes the cytokinesis. Um, a cleavage furrow is formed to kind of split it into two halves. Um, in a plant cell, it's called the cell plate. And um, 
until and so the cleavage grow develops until it, it, they completely just split and become two separate cells and they are identical. So, and the new cells are much smaller than the original cells and they will start and interface again and grow until they're going to divide again. And that is my thesis for you. Thank you very much. <laughs>